yes, finally, finally, finally! I'll try to make this video as quick as I can, though, but I'm back, though, with another Dark Mario video. I'm joking, that's never gonna happen. Holy crap, man! Holy freaking... Ugh, Jesus on toast, man! Just... Oh. <laughs> the video took forever to set up because I had to find other stuff I wanted to have sources for. Holy crap, man. You guys better appreciate it. I got the robot chicken eyes right here. Um, it took forever to set up. Because um, I had to find everything before. So yeah. Um, actually, something I, w I went over last year, which a lot of people well, had like, what, like 300 views, almost 400 views on that video. I got a lot more views later. Even like a year later, the video still got a lot of views. Um, because people were wondering how to get this ticket and stuff like that. Um, and the rainbow ticket. We have also wanted to discuss and talk about that. Because I wanted to make a completely separate video for this. I was like, you know what? I'll just go ahead and do a video for it. So I don't mind. Um, um, yeah, using the song Lost World, um, Midnight My Owl Music. I don't know. I was gonna do it. I was gonna do like the um, Sonic Rush, um, what you need. I was like, this is what you need. The song says this is what you need, but yeah. I was gonna do it, but I was like, eh, whatever. So yeah, I, I was like, you know what? I already have the song already on deck. I might as well choose it. So yeah, I think it's for, like Legendary Summon Banner specifically because it's happened last year as well with the Burly Chin and Luma Banner. Or basically, like Summon Banner and stuff like that. Um, you get these tickets right here, these application tickets. I don't know what it's gonna be about. For, so for the 6th anniversary, we had these new application tickets, which basically means basically right there. Um, you get one application ticket every time you basically do a lot of summons on the um, you know, a lot of Summon Banner, which they want you, they want you to summon. This you don't really care. Um, and yeah, you at least get like, well, you can at least get three of these, and you can um ap apply for like, but um, you know, um, you can apply and basically get like special prizes like special BMGs, and, like music and stuff like that. You know, basically stuff like that. That's where the tickets for. You can get like BMGs, sign artwork like the UI Goku like art and Vegeta Evolution Blue LR. Again, UI Goku and Evolution Blue Vegeta art. You can get those art like signed out and stuff like that. It's only for JP though. But again, you can only you only live in JP. You, you can have this for global. They didn't get this unfortunately though. Um, so yeah, I did check for Global last year, they did not get this at all, at all, at all, at all. Cause I didn't make a video for it at all for Global when it came out for the 5 year anniversary for 2020. You know, for the 5 yeah, for Global, um, it was 2020. I got, like, you had mixed up in my head. Cause for Global, again, the anniversary will be in July. All this stuff will be in July. Not this specifically, though, because they didn't have it for Global, so, yeah, I doubt it. We had, like, a survey and stuff like that, which has some other benefits. Like, the Global tickets, like, every time you summon on a banner, if you're, like, a new player, you, you would summon, like, Gundo Dogger Pets banners, you'll get tickets, and you can have, like, someone on a ticket version of that same banner. It's only the same banner, just a ticket version of it. And a lot of people are happy now on JP, because that's officially like, a thing with the new Rainbow tickets for JP. Um, I'll talk about all again. There's someone said the cover and overall of this video. But these missions, you can also get them. I think when you summon the banner, there'll be missions available. Um, yeah, they'll be added in missions. Like, you only get three, I think, I believe. They'll be added in missions. So, yeah, like all these tickets and stuff like that. Um, basically, just listing them apply. So, yeah, basically, someone on the banner, you get these tickets. You can, again, like, some, like, you know, get any of these tickets right here. These are all, like, just basic tickets, like, for the um, new figures and stuff like that. And I think it's, like, all the, for, like, kind of get like, all the new prizes, like, BMG and stuff like that. Yeah, like the Evolution Blue Vegeta figure. Um, yeah, like, sign, oh, yeah, award figure. Um, each bun, like, I like think the bun clap figures, um, like, it's all different ones. Like, God Goku, like, this year was God, the last year they teased it, this year was God Goku, LR God Goku, B Pan, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, and LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, Super Saiyan Transforming Race Trunks, um, this with the Spirit Bomb Sword, and LR Goku Black. See, so, yeah, I think these are all the figures. They didn't specifically say it on here. I just have Evolution Blue Evolve Vegeta, the new LR Vegeta figure without his armor, because, you know, with him, we do the final explosion with active skill, his armor comes off, and you can get that, um, version of him. It's worth it. I guess they didn't like, want to make two different versions of it. It'd be cool, you know, to swap it out, you know, have like the custom set one with it, armor one without it. I guess that would be too much work for the JP Cash. But yeah, I mean, you can get a figure anyway in Japan anyway, because like all the Dogen Clive figures at my local, like, you know, reading center where I live. And we have like a plaza, like, reading center, like, up the street from me, a couple, you know, it's like, it's like only like, what, 15 minutes? Um, so yeah. Um, you can get like, you know, uh, for me, I actually see this in my um, local, you know, um, reading area. Um, in a library, it's like a local waiting area. Um, we get like coffee and stuff like that, you know, pretzels, typical, you know, like a mini cafe essentially. Um, I think music actually would fit perfectly in that cafe. But yeah, um, you can get like, you know, those cloud figures that are available for um, that, uh, for like, um, Doken now, because I've seen Evolution, Evolution Blue Vegeta. I think I saw it once from last year. I think I saw UI Goku. Um, and they have like, you know, the ones that they usually have. Like back there, if you guys can see it back there, I have like some of those cloud figures. They're not from Doken, but they're from the same people who make it. Yeah, um, yeah, like, uh, yeah, original bottle opener and stuff like that. Yeah, bottle openers, pens. It's happened last year as well. I was like, okay, this is kind of weird. Yeah, face, towel, like, go stuff like that. Smart ring phone, which had that last year. I think they did, I think they had cases last year as well. And these are all tickets you can apply for. Again, actually, something on the banner, which they want you to do, like, last year, where I said everybody don't something on the banner. But again, this only applies if you live in JP and stuff like that, specifically. So, uh, like I said before, it's only applies if you live in JP, specifically. Um, 
Otherwise, the global doesn't work. You had to have a jail because only you had to have like a JP mailing address. Again, you had to have a JP mailing address. Otherwise, it will not work. Unfortunately, though. So yeah, again, this um, you know, I did this last year. Again, I'm not supposed to do it this year. I know a lot of people are like, oh yeah, I didn't get these. I didn't buy for this ticket because you know I did it last year. No one was doing it. I was like, you know what? I would be the first one to do it because someone else is kind of talking about it. They talk about it in other videos, but I like to make a specific separate video for this. Again, I don't know when I'm gonna upload this video though. But again, I like to spread out the next couple of days. I might um do this one though specifically though. So yeah, um. But yeah, like I said though previously, um, again, how to get a ticket, you put some on the banner that says um, you can apply up to three tickets in the mission. The mission will be added, I guess, you some on the banner. I think we have some on the banner. I don't, I don't think you get specifically get the ticket, but they'll be added as, I think we have some on the banner. Um, you'll get um, you'll get the missions added for these tickets. Like, I think only specifically activate if you someone on the banner. You get these tickets, you can go in the Baba shop, purchase any of these, I think only up to three times. You can like again I think you do something on the banner, you get these like you know like dog like Gobble when you summon on their banner for the anniversary or any dog dog fest in general you'll get tickets and you can like summon on ticket version of that banner. I guess it's kinda of like this where you can um, get any of these, apply for it and stuff like that. They're basically just your application ticket. You can go in there, get whatever you want. Again you can, you can I think you can get like I think as many as you want to I believe. Um I think I think they had to buy. I think it's just like getting stones and stuff like that. I think last year you had to buy them. This year was kind of different. I know this one's the mission's completely different. This is basically for every rainbow unit you have. I think up from a certain point in the game, um, you can get like shirts, even BMGs. But again, this only applies if you live in Japan, though. So yeah, or well, you know, you can just get in Japan and ship it up to somebody else. It's just really simple. I like the L.A. Goku statue for JP. Um, L.A. Goku was originally first coming out. I know, like with like a tech ultimate Gohan from that world tournament. Um, he had you can get like you know. Um, you get a statue, but you had that like a JP Melling address. Um, I think these also are just missions for the um, yeah, I think actually summon stuff like that. You can unlock these. Hey, this is just yeah, using like um, yeah, Awaken, like yeah, yeah, like, Unit 17 and Krillin, um, Max Roshi and Tian. I think these are the missions you get when you, yeah, these are just, I think these are the missions you get. I think the separate ones, yeah, these are like when you summon on the banner, and these are like when you do missions and stuff like that. And these are just regular missions, like you know, 66 like tickets and stuff like that. Those are all completely different. I will go over that when El Roshi eventually gets his quote unquote easy gay. I probably highly doubt it though, but still. Um, yeah, these are missions. I think once you own, yeah, these are, yeah, once you own, like, basically, I think you're not getting the character, but once you summon on the banner, the missions will be unlocked. You can get these and, you know, get, like, get us, like I said, get the tickets in the barber shop, sign artwork, and stuff like that. So, yeah. I think also with this, um, with the. Yeah, this banner specifically though. Um, it's not every other banner, so yeah. You are Goku's like the new Uwa Goku and Evolution Blue Vegeta. So I do not count those again. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, this is the new Rainbow ticket, which basically was teased a really long time ago for um, when the JP was first done. When we got the anniversary full info, this is like one of the Rainbow tickets you can get. Um, basically, yes, yeah, for every banner right now currently. I think every time you summon with this Rainbow ticket, like for example, if you summon like on the UI Goku banner, I think it's right here, I believe. Let's go to the banner. Um, this is the UI Goku banner right here. I think every time you summon with that rainbow ticket, you'll get 32 because I everybody's been getting 32. You get 32, you summon on this ticket banner right here. You summon with that ticket. I think, I think it's, I don't know if it's confirmed or not. Um, for Global, they'll probably get it as well. Maybe. I don't know. They probably won't. I don't know. I'm getting everything's not confirmed for Global just yet. But yeah, you'll get this. Um, you can summon the banner. Like, for example, use the rainbow ticket, summon on this banner, but you, um, you summon on this banner, you know, it could go down to, like, if you have like 16 tickets left, um, it'll also apply for this um, Vegeta banner up here as well. Um, basically, yeah, like I said, if someone on the Goku banner, um, yeah, if someone on the Goku banner, you should take it there, and we go back on for Evolution for Vegeta, the ticket will be shared between both of those banners, even the LR banner right here, um, it'll be all shared together, so yeah, they're all, but come, basically combine the one, we use the one ticket for this banner, like, for example, you summon, use the ticket for this banner, um, I'm trying to think of it, yeah, you summon, use the ticket for this banner, um, we you try to use it for your Goku banner, it'll go down, so they're all shared between every banner, so yeah, basically, it's like basically bringing people off troves and stuff like that to, um, JP essentially, which is good. Again, do not summon on this banner, it's trash. Unless you're going to go like, for the main ticket, unless you want those sign artwork and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, this is right here, this is a Global Discount banner. I know these are completely different, but yeah, Global kind of gets these as well. The two different type of tic tickets for Global. This one right here, this is Super Saiyan for Goji banner. It's live up at the time supporting for Global. They did, change, they did change that ultimate go on. You get like discounts and stuff like that, but um. But these are specifically different though, because they're just to do their types of tickets. This is the PLO Trove version of it. I know Kefla, I think Bears has this as well. I think he's the first student to have this. Um, basically, when you um, summon somebody, you have discounts. But also, you can go into the PLO Trove for Global. You can get this ticket right here. Um, like, to, yeah, this is like an example of stuff like that. Um, you get these tickets and stuff like that in PLO Trove. You get some, this is an example I brought up. You can get tickets and stuff like that you know, for banners that are currently live. These are from the, um, I believe, the Down Celebration banners. No, no, because Global JP never have those at the same time. Because Global, yeah, because Global JP never have tickets together for this. I think this is for Gotenks and Boo, I believe. 
um, for global, the um, good things of blue banner right here. Like for example, if you summon on this banner, for example, you summon on these banners while their um, discounts are up, you can get tickets and summon on a ticket version of this banner. It's the same as that banner, just with the ticket. These are just tickets that, that um, you can get with these characters though. You'll get tickets every time you summon. It's a random amount of tickets. I think it's three now for global, um, specifically now that they changed it up. Um, every time you summon, you'll get a ticket and you can summon on a ticket version of this banner. It's the same as like, the banner, just ticket version of it. You seem to gain the unit for free. I know you're technically using stones, but you're technically getting the unit for free technically, which actually is really good. You're not spending stones to get them, but you technically are as you summon. But as you summon, though, you'll get the tickets, some of the banner, some of the ticket version of this banner. For Global, for Spill Trove, it is different though. Like, for example, Super Saiyan for Gogeta's banner is up right now. It's live for Global. So basically, the Super Saiyan for Gogeta pack for this, like, Doki Fest, like, right here, I think. Um, yeah, like this Doki This is for Super Saiyan for Gogeta right now. I'm actually gonna look it up. Thank you to, um, the boy, the homie, I'm ducking at this right there. Um, this is a ticket banner you can buy with the peel off trope pack on Global. Boy. Again, it's for Global, JP is different. So, yeah, for Global, we already know about this. JP, I'm just explaining it for JP players or, you know, anybody who's new and stuff like that. Um, this is for the, um, you know, Super Saiyan for Gogeta banner right here. Um, for example, yeah, that's for the Super Saiyan for Gogeta. Again, like, would you buy, like, peel off trope and stuff like that? Um, essentially, yeah, like I said, peel off tropes, um, you know, ticket, the tickets in there, you can buy it. It's on the ticket version of this banner. Um, right here so, yeah and ticket banner is also different um for these guys as well though so again ticket version of it yeah they just bring both ticket version of this banner it gets like people trove basically you summon you get tickets you get some on the ticket version of the banner these banners um actually look really different yeah this is good for you at goku purple being specifically weird because you know actually you at goku you know gets beat and stuff like that you know he kind of you know when he's about win against jiren he just kind of comes out and like has his purple like energy around him um this makes sense for goku but yeah the bears are just inverted colors essentially so yeah you can tell with the ticket version again as you summon with both banners for example like i said um there'll be shit all the tickets will be shared upon every banner so if you summon on this banner the tickets will go down and like for example for goku banner if you want to swap back and forth you can like um for example again like i said for vegeta right here the ticket right here um you can summon on the banner because the tickets, there's, there's, there's 32 tickets right now. When you summon on the banner, um, with these tickets, you know, go down. Like, for example, you summon on Vegeta's banner, you want to go flip, flip flop back on Goku, think you have 35. Sorry, the tickets went down. And again, you have to summon a legendary summon banner, um, for the, the, the whole other ticket and stuff like that. So, yeah. And that's how I apply for that. So, yeah. I mean, it's completely different. Yeah, like I said, everybody has 32 tickets right now. So, yeah, again, and someone on this banner, the tickets will go down. But if you try someone on the UI Goku banner, they'll go down as well. I know a new chain battle was announced for um, JP right here. I think it's just for Universe you know, 7. So, yeah. But I have both the new LRs. I think it's like a new listing, I think, for yeah, the Goku Vegeta. The stuff that we got for the anniversary. I think top units you use in the year. Stuff like that. I guess everybody used on JP. But yeah, like I said, if you want to use the tickets, use it on these banners. Because, again, it's like global. Essentially, every time you summon, you get a ticket. Um, for JP, they just follow your own ticket. So, yeah. Again, if you summon stuff like that, it'll go down. And use it for these banners. These banners are more worth it. Do not summon on those trashy LR banners. The banners, they suck. They suck. They suck. Do not do it. Some of these banners are more worth it. But like I said, that's pretty much I want to go over today again, though. Just kind of explaining, like I said, basically peel off trope coming to JP essentially. Which actually is really cool, though. I love it, though. I'm glad JP is getting some stuff. I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh yeah, Global, we need to catch up because, you know, we're going to lose the Global schools of tickets. But that's pretty much it, honestly. That's pretty much it, though, for that. Um, specifically, though. Like I said, that's pretty much it, though. That's it. Otherwise, what else? Both games can be caught up. JP Global and JP Legends. Hello? They're both on the same time, freaking dang darn timeline. Hello? Like, don't get mad at me because. They're on the same timeline. No one's complaining. No one's being mad. You want me to do what? JP and Global Legends? Heck no, I'm gonna do them at the same time. So yeah. Don't get mad at me. Just just saying, like in general, like I don't know if it's But yeah, like I said in general though. Yeah, good good interview here. Like I said again, like I said before, um, the rainbow ticket essentially is the peel of trope ticket where you can go in the um again while the banner is up. Like for example, so, like this banner could be up and we have peel of trope tickets. Boom, right there, you can buy tickets for that. But if you summon a banner, you'll get tickets for global specifically. It was only a global anyway. You can summon get tickets, some uh, ticket version of this banner, same exact thing. And for applying for this ticket again, you can get like signed artwork, BMGs. I know a lot of people watched it last year and stuff like that. But you get some of the banners, other trash. But yeah. Um, and the differentiated, they do have ticket versions of the banner as well. So yeah, again, I'll make a whole video for about six year anniversary going over it. I did it the last couple of years just because randomly, I did it for Super Saiyan Forest for Global, um, when the 4th anniversary was coming up. A lot of people enjoyed that video. So yeah, gonna go into the video here for sure. See you guys later though. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, great life. I'll coach you again though. Stay safe, wash your hands, God bless. I'll be if you're planning to go out, always wear a mask, steal some toilet paper, get some hand sanitizer. I'm not saying it, don't blink right now. Leave me in the video, please. But yeah, what do you guys think though, of course, about this? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Good, go take a shower, eat some breakfast, kind of. I forgot to eat breakfast because I was just not stop recording this morning. So yeah, gonna upload this video as soon as I can. Um, 
but it's a couple days. Then we're gonna get B jump. Attempt scoring a couple more hours. We should get B jump. Um, I'll make a whole video for that. Um, we'll know what was gonna be for Sand Day because last year for Sand last year around this time, we were a year ago, almost tomorrow or today, whatever. Um, whenever I upload this video, um, this one we got B jump. We got Sand Day stuff for um global token and JP. It was both global and JP. It was a shared celebration for global and JP. Now Sand Day stuff. We got the free play unit and stuff like that, and we got something for going for Legend. So yeah. Um, like I said, it's legendary. You can only get this ticket if you summon a legendary summon banner. As you summon, you'll um, get this mission unlocked. Just basically using all the new reps unit for seven units and stuff like that that came out for his anniversary. Um, this is basically for every rainbow unit you have up to a certain point. And basically everything else I kind of went over already. The ticket version of these banners. Um, again, busy build up to coming to JP. I love it already. The ticket version of these banners. Again, I just summon with the, um, specifically. If you summon on Yoga, you can use all your tickets up. You can't summon, like, on the, uh, on the other banner. But like, oh yeah, I have my tickets already for that. But no. Um, I say use it for the UI Goku banner and Evolution Blue Vegeta. Please use it. Please use it. Please, please, please use it. Because you're wasting your value by summoning on the, um, well, actually, let me restart the music. Um, you're wasting your value while you're summoning on, like, those legendary summon banners. It's bad, horrible. Don't do it. Don't waste your zones. If you do that, you're an idiot. Because you're wasting your value on, again, you're highly wasting your value on these, like, these SL trash banners. I mean, you got pull out at large, but for free. But, you really want to pull one of these featured units that have been on every banner. But yeah, gonna go ahead and end the video here for sure, though. So, yeah. See you guys later, though, again, though. Peace out.